Howdy guys, Time Drum Rocket A3 here, and welcome back to some more Sonic Frontiers. Uh, this is some um, uh, more footage that has been uh, servicing online, and uh, the Summer Games Festival just happened, and so many announcements were made, and some games looking pretty good, some not so much. But anyways, Sonic Frontiers is the, um, the talk of the town for me right now, and this time this footage is not from IGN, it's from Sega themselves that they gave out to... Um, Oh, I forgot what they're called. Um, well, gave out to, like, um, services like Game Informer, GameSpot, uh, this channel called Perfectly Nintendo. It is all, um, uh, like, preset footage that Sega has sent out to these channels. Um, and one thing to start off is that IGN has done this game dirty. The footage that they have was garbage in comparison to this. So all we're going to do is react to this footage. Uh, another thing to point out, I am not going to go in onto the, the uh, leaks that people have been putting up from the Summer Games Festival where people being like, Oh look, it's Green Hill Zone, it's Sky Sanctuary, it's going to be in Sonic Frontiers, or the um, the cutscenes that's going to be in it, but I will discuss some things that I heard about what's going on in this game. Um, I will just preface something, people being upset about Green Hill Zone being in another Sonic game, well, one thing to say... I'm going numb at this point when it comes to Green Hill Zone, but at this point, I don't care for Sonic Frontiers. Well, what I mean to say is that I don't care that Green Hill Zone's probably going to show up in Sonic Frontiers, because Sonic Frontiers is an anniversary title. Green Hill Zone's the first stage that, you know, ever made for the Sonic game. It's the first stage you play through in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. So, it's an anniversary title. I can look past that. And Sky Sanctuary as well, that's fine. People are saying it's the same Sky Sanctuary from Generations, but that doesn't look right in the slightest. But yeah, those are not what we're going on about. Those are cyberspace levels. If they show up cyberspace footage uh, later on, because those are the uh, linear stages that are in the game, they've been confirmed. Uh, if they show off uh, cyberspace footage, I'll react to that as well. But anyways, um, leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's jump straight into this in 3, 2, 1, go. pause for a second. Okay, there's probably no point to those booster pads there. Like, you can easily just turn around the corner yourself. Like, we don't need to be that automated here. Enemy type. This thing, like... I'm kind of scared because the way it walks. You know, it's kind of seductive-like. It's just like, oh, Um... Why do I say seductive? I mean, like, um, you know, like, people do some... I have a feeling that people will do some interesting art the way it tiptoes towards Sonic. But anyways, it's dashing towards Sonic. Let's see what Sonic's got to do against it. Alright, another pause for a second there. I Look, I understand it's kind of tricky to, like, animate someone hanging in the air after to do some, like, uh, like, kicks and punches and whatnot, but Sonic just standing there looks weird. I also have no idea what that move was there before, but it looks like... I guess it's like a finisher move or something like that. Back to it. He can, um... dodge while in the air, apparently. Dodge. Quite a bit. Oh, he does have some ammo. Yeah, and that was it off. Pause there. Okay, this position that Sonic's in, I am guessing, I mean, it's unnecessary in these Sonic games, but I am guessing that that's what Sonic looks like when he's when he's out of rings, like showing like, hey, next hit you get you take, it's going to kill him or something like that, you, you'll lose life. That is if there even is lives in this game, because the last few games, they haven't had lives. But it, it, it looks like, um, like what Sonic will look like when he stands still, when he's hurt, like low on health. Footage. Okay, uh, another thing I've got to point out too. The graphics look so much better here. And yes, there is pop-in as well, but it's not as noticeable once again. It's like, oh, you see? It's like, eh, oh well. But like, this footage looks so much better. Giant tower is an enemy. What's that? It's like a... Oh. Yeah, 
Yes! Oh, thank goodness. I saw it there. Oh, I'm so happy that they've done this, but it looks like Sonic can actually drift! Yes, that is a drift right there. So it looks like this enemy retreats when it loses uh, more and more health. I guess that... Okay, so it's a type of enemy you chase down. That's fair enough. Ow. What is that, um, like, that indicator above Sonic's head? Like, um, it's like pointing towards the enemy, but it's also like indicating towards Sonic's head. Does that mean, is that like, um, is that like a, a sense thing that Sonic has? So like, it's like, hey, they're going to attack you. Be ready for that so Sonic can dodge it. Is that what that's supposed to be? Oh, nice, um, back to the kick. Ouch. Yeah, I guess it's just an indicator that they plugged out Sonic. Use the gear as you have done before. Is that the voice that's in Sonic's head? Because there's a story about something being, like, some voice in Sonic's head. So is that the voice in Sonic's head? Who knows? Okay, we got some more footage. This looks like the uh, area that was shown off in the IGN demo. It looks pretty much the same, but, like, there's a lot more to it. Or maybe some. I will say the uh, the sunset actually looks very nice. Like seeing the game like in the after in the evening, it looks very nice. I li okay, I like this. Like Sonic hanging as he's ready to climb, but again, okay, just seeing him get up like that and jog, um, it still looks weird, but it looks better than it did in the IGN demo because the IGN demo I think was a much older version. Like an earlier build of the game, so yeah. It looks strange, but no. stop right there. Um, I don't know if you saw it in the frame, but if we go back and I'll, I don't know, um, I'll slow it down. Let's pause and let's go playback speed to about 0 0.5 again. Apologies for the terrible audio, but like as he runs along, look at that. He's leaning into his into his turn when he's running, and people were worried about that. I was like, is Sonic going to lean in in his turns? Well, it looks like he does, so that's good. It's good. Makes it look more realistic and natural the way Sonic runs. So this time it seems like the person that's playing this actually hit that balloon, unlike um, IGN hitting, missing it and hitting the second balloon. I'm wondering... I think this is the same tower um, as in the first demo, but I was kind of curious to wonder if there's like towers that look pretty much the same, like this one. Apparently you could climb up here, I wasn't aware of this. Get a very nice blurry view of the um, area. It pans down. Oh, that was a bit of a flash, but... Okay, that was a good there. I will say, for some reason, the swapping to the right is still Sonic swapping to the left. Like, so it looks like he's swapping to a left rail instead of a right side rail. But then when he swaps to the left from the from the right, it looks it looks correct. Goes down here, stomps, no pop in. Okay, now um, that thing that Sonic collected, uh, apparently. What I've heard is that is a collectible, and these hearts are what, and these heart, those hearts, um, Sonic gives to Amy, because apparently, those hearts are used to recover Amy's memories, which is um, an interesting idea. I'm just wondering like, how did Amy lose her memories? I guess I'll explain it when the game comes out, when I get a chance to see the story. Some creatures, native to the Star Fall Islands. Okay, the daytime here looks really nice too. Another heart. Air tricks. 
the, the footage looks much smoother compared to IGN's. Not here, though. That's very blurry. Yeah, I, I, I hate this with um, uh, most games now. Like, this demo, I, f I think it's blurry because it's possibly got motion blur turned on. Or maybe it's just the way, like, pausing videos work. Yeah, some parts of it are really blurry. Sonic does run particularly slow, but apparently, um, over the course of the game, when you... When I saw the, um, the combat, in the combat, uh, demo, I was thinking, what is that? Is that, like, um, what can that be used for? Is that, like, Sonic got a skill tree? Yes, he does. They've, they said that Sonic has a skill tree, and you can use it to upgrade Sonic, and apparently one of those things is upgrading his speed. So, he is particularly slow here, but you can upgrade his speed, which is good to know. And maybe the drift is a, a skill that you have to unlock, who knows. But it looks, it looks good, and, um, I'm I'm actually looking forward to that part, like uh, upgrading Sonic throughout the uh, progression of the game. I really hope. I'm, I know it's probably not true, but when Sonic Frontiers does come out, I like I'll just play it non-stop because these open-world games, similar to Breath of the Wild, I can't seem to uh, play them for long. I play them for like I don't know, like a, an hour or two, and it's like that's it, I'm done. Um, it, it it sucks. I think the most I have played at this type of open-world like, game is Genshin Impact. I have played Immortals Phoenix Rising as well, and that game has, uh, like, good promises and whatnot. Like, it, it's good. The game's fine, but, um, yeah, I just can't seem to get a grip of it. But I hope, because I'm a Sonic fan, that this game, like, I, I get invested in this game, because so far this game is looking much better than what IGN showed. Okay, that's a bit weird. That, that's... That's not how physics works. That was a um, strange move that Sonic did there. I think that was an accident. Ah, yes, more combat. And right here. So, again, in uh, the hands on uh, impressions that IGN had, uh, apparently, if you press both the bumpers together, the ones that, use Sonic, that Sonic uses to dodge, he can do a parry attack. So the screen going like this, Sonic basically dabbing. Um, I believe that's his parry attack. He's a powerful parry attack. They had tricks in better than they did in the Magnet demo. Another heart for Sonic to give to Amy. Alright, and then we also got a... I believe this is a puzzle. Whoever's playing this can't seem to get up there. Oh, there he goes. So I guess you have to set, hit, hit it at a certain angle so Sonic doesn't do like a back foot to finish the move or something. There's buttons he can press. This is the radar thing again. And one of those fruits pop up. Those fruits, are they like things that increases Sonic's health? Like, is that a thing that Sonic can use to be like, hey, you can like increase your health or is it like a just another collectible, or could it be like, um, like Sonic has a ring cap to how much rings he can carry, and those fruits he gets, those is like, oh, increased health, basically increasing your ring cap. That's probably thinking too much into it, but you know. Yep, you know, just, who knows, we'll just have to wait and see when it comes out. This was another thing that was showed off in the IGN demo. Sonic Frontiers, looking way, way better than it did before. Um, yeah, um, it still got me psyched up for this game. I will point out some things. During the Summer Games Festival, when they had the demos for Sonic Frontiers, it was NDA'd for some reason, even though we've seen footage of the game already, so it was 
it was a bit uh, frustrating to hear that, but like I said, some people got some sneaky little f bits of footage in there. It's like, hey, look, here's the title screen. It's just a JPEG with a logo, and it says New Game and Exit Game. That, that's basically it. But, um... Yeah, Sonic Frontier is looking much, much better than what IGN uh, showed off. Seriously, IGN did this game dirty. It looked awful in the state it was in, and um, which probably explains why so many Sonic fans are just like, oh, delay this game, delay this game, delay it, delay it. I'm, I mean, I'm a Sonic fan, but I was like, oh, I'm, I'm sure they've got it. They've got it okay. They're, they're, they're all right. Um, I'm not going to say that they should delay it. I mean, they already delayed it from last year. It was supposed to come out last year before they just, like, pushed it back to this year. And it seems that uh, the uh, head of Sonic, Team Takashi Izuka, feels the same way, because he's basically just like, shut up, you don't understand. It'll, the game will be fine when it comes out, and I really do hope it's fine when it comes out. But yeah, that's um, the footage again. Um, yeah, it, it looks good. Much, much better. Much better detail, like the combat looks fine, uh, looks fun. Um, I would like to see some cyberspace, um, uh, some cyberspace gameplay, but if there isn't any, you know, whatever, it's fine. And, um, I mean, there was a teaser, uh, during the Sonic Central, which was kind of a disappointing Sonic Central, uh, where they showed off a new enemy type that is in the game, where Sonic is, it's like a giant dragon of sorts and Sonic runs on the back of it and he has to avoid obstacles running towards the head of it and I think that looks really cool but um that's for another time and yeah that's gonna do it for this video so yeah once again thank you for watching this video leave a like on the video subscribe hit the notification bell to stay informed on my uh, uploads and I'll see you in the next one who knows maybe there's some more Sonic Frontiers footage coming out very soon we'll have to wait and see Take care, guys.